anymore and I'm 12 years old. And uh, can you, how long have you been using Unity for? So far I've been using the pro version about half a year and the free version I've been using ever since I was nine. Wow. And how did you find Unity? How did you get started with it? So, um, Mars Explorer was on the was on the Mac website, so then I just clicked on it because it was free, and then that's how I learned Unity. And uh, so can you tell us a little bit about your game project that you're making with Unity? So far it's not really that much, it's just uh, physics where you mess around with physics. And it was really easy to make this, like I made this in about maybe like six minutes or three minutes, and then I added the two tune shader, which all you need to do is do stuff like drag it. Drag it to your whatever you want to add it to. So and has it been pretty easy for it to, for you to use Unity so far? Yes, so far. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been having Mo fun while you're doing it too? Yes. Most of this didn't even require scripting. So what would you tell other kids who might want to kind of start using Unity and doing some of the stuff you're doing? Mm. I what would say, would you have? Uh, maybe try the cloth effects. <laughs> They're fun. This is how I made that ball, this ball. So you used a cloth simulation on the ball? Yeah, and I also used this cloth simulation to make that. But I set a box collider, so... Oh, see? I set an invisible barrier, so the cloth can't get in there either. So it randomly flies upwards with the random acceleration. And have you been doing any programming on this project? A little bit. Only um, they actually have some programming on the website which I used. All I had to do was copy and paste, and and then it did stuff like lots of things. Like it, one, you could like write down a www, and then. It would show that on the material, whatever material put the script on. Cool. Well, thanks for talking to us with your project, and uh, we look forward to seeing what, you, what else you make in the future. Okay. Thanks, Henry.